Wow. We're here at the Franken Jura. I'm fucking about the phone. Today will be the first video of a little bit of a series where we will try to replicate some of the World Cup moves. Today's mission is to set one of those swinging boulders into the slab. But first, we'll warm up. This is, this is the move we're talking about. Okay, warm. That's how we practice for moves nowadays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While Chris is warming up, I'll explain what hold we'll try to use. This two jugs will be our swinger, that, that will be the start. We just want to practice so we'll take really good holds so we can get to, into the movement. This will be the volume we land on. And in contrary to what Jakob does, he goes two feet, one hand. What we want to do is one foot on the volume and two hands into a palm press. That's how uh, the boulder was actually set. So we'll take these two over here and then see how it works out. And if it's doable or too easy, we have got like a selection of folds to change it in case. Maybe we also change the static position, right? Yeah, we can also. Yeah. More variability. Yeah. We which, can, is, which is good for training. Yeah. The bigger variety. Exactly. That's always the problem at a comp simulation. You usually have one boulder and either you do it or you don't. And there's not very much room for practicing. So now that we've got the option, We'll try to vary a little bit to make it easier and harder. That's why I have so many weights. Ah, because yeah. <laughs> with more weights it's a bit harder and with less weights it's a bit easier. Ah. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't only have one weight. We don't only have one hold. It's so easy. I know, it's crazy. It's like, yeah. This was actually a first of the channel. This might be like the first time we film a warm-up sequence and it's you on the Beastmaker hanging for five minutes. Warm-up sequence, one arm dead hangs <laughs> on the smallest Beastmaker grin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how we Germans warm up. Yeah. Warte, 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 ich bin noch nicht fertig. Was? Lass mich noch mal ein bisschen hängen. Na gut, also wir machen jetzt schon. So, warme Finger. Bevor wir da rumhüpfen. Don't schwenken. forget, Alex, you got older, so he needs longer now for warm-up. 30. 30, gell? <lacht> Dear gentlemen and ladies, he is ja, 30. Eine schlechte Hand. Krass. This is what you get when you turn 30. Yeah, you became a sensei of the sport. Krass. Und heute fühle ich mich wacked. Gestern drauf gehalten. Mm. In Wirklichkeit hänge ich da immer ein ganzes Mittagessen lang. <lacht> We took a corner that's similar to the one in the video from an overhanging wall into a slab and that's where we'll try to set the swing ball there. Right side, big volume with two jugs. Left side, our... Safety first. Dass die Griffe Kinder kriegen. Dann hast du lauter kleine Spacks. Und die wachsen zu riesigen Makros. Und wenn sie... Und wenn sie vom rechten Pfad abkommen, werden sie du, Tasche. <lacht> dann war's das, dann kannst du sie, naja. Ja, Schulterbrecher ja, halt, du, Tasche, gell? No, I think for me it's the perfect height. Ah, ja. Two screws are enough, right? Two like screws in, is... Like in the World Cup setting. Even World Cup setters only use two screws. <lacht> We have our starting position for the swing. Now we have to uh, build the landing foothold. We'll take this. That's quite big, but also very slopey. Uh. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> well, just give it a try and see what it feels like. Let's have a look. So this one is definitely to the left of the foothold and the hand. The hand looks like it's on same height as the foothold. So then there's also the option to like almost do this. So I would say this and this one here. So then we have the option to go as a palm, but we also have the option to go as a foot. And then see how it feels. Good work.
it, no? You think we hit our target? Yeah, I mean, this is the move how you could do it. But the question is, can we also do it the palm way? Let's say this is how Jakob did now with two feet and one hand. But the question is, my idea was kind of to set it as a palm. So ideally, you would land like this. No way. I think it's hard. Yeah, the wall is hard. Like this. No chance. But now the holes are quite good, so you can kind of hold the holes. Whereas in the simulation that we had, you had a lot more weight on the foot and the hand yeah, holds. Yeah, looks like you could take off the foot right now. Almost, yeah. yeah. I mean, it helps quite a lot, the foot still, even if it's quite bad. I mean, you cut loose. Yeah. But I think without it, I could, I need the foot to get into the position, and then even if it cut loose, I can still hold it. But yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. But also it cut loose. Yeah. So what I would suggest is if we make this foot tiny bit better and this a lot worse so that you actually have to stand like this we can yeah. give that a go i mean we could uh, we could also turn this one on the bad structure side or change it with the purple one over there yeah so alex i think if we move both up a bit mm -hmm. you know it's harder to jump into this because it's really high so maybe we can force this more okay let's give it a go okay yeah. cool. let's put it a bit higher Try. Okay. Now this is already a lot harder. One because the foothold is slick, and two because it's quite high. Hold no. my beer. I would say we should set it more together. These two holes. A bit closer, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so you have to yeah, perfect. go in yeah. between. Hmm? And, two other hands. Well, and maybe the foothold also a bit higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but by now, do you think the, the stemming version is harder than the one like getting the foot really high? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if we move the red one just a bit up, then it's more that's comfortable. Right. But also it's competition climbing. It doesn't need to be comfortable, huh? Oh, that's true. But if we make this higher again, then you will jump in like this again. Oh, maybe we turn the yeah. the. But what if we just one? put it like uh, in, the, in a straight line, or a little bit more left, so it's like this more? Because if you move it there, then it's easier to go like this. I think maybe. Okay, but let's try. Okay. okay. This still works, I guess, and I think it's still easier than the palm. Yeah. Let's change it then. We try to make the foothold a tad bit better and the holds worse, so you have to actually land on the foot and stick it. Because now I feel like we're just using the foot to like push off, but we're doing so much with our arms, we're not actually standing on our feet. Which is a good thing, actually, but competition climbing not so good. <laughs> we want to take out the foothold to make it a tiny bit better, so uh, you have to actually stand on your feet. That's why we made the handholds a lot worse. So there's none of this going and like cut losing happening anymore. You really have to put weight on your feet. Hmm. Do you think it's too good or do you think you can just stand on this without hands? I think you can stand on it, but let's try it. Let's try it. screws and... Let's give it a go. I mean, let's just, pretend, let's just pretend this side doesn't exist. Like, we'll have to... Uh... This is actually not so easy. <laughs> it is calendar time! But I think, because I'm a little bit shorter, 
No, bigger legs. Get more weight lower down. Yeah. Right legs. legs. Don't fully. Oh. I find this hard. But, but I also think you. Now, in the moment, you land here. Yeah, you have to land and you further down. You have a lot of space. And then the angle is better. Yeah. Funny to see the difference the because difference? Chris goes jumps directly into position, but he doesn't move. You you really? land there right, and I you have the position. No and Alex is like, while he's jumping on the volume, he's, he's moving his hands and the position before he stops. That's interesting. What what is better? Do you think? Your way. You think so? Yes. Because when 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 it's so bad that you can't change the position after. Yeah, you have to land in the dead yeah. point. And you are landing in the dead point, he's using his power thingy from his shoulder to land into the position. Max had the idea to change foothold. The foothold? To take the worse. Yellow one. What do you think? Okay, let's give it a go. Safety glasses, safety glasses. And I'm closing my eyes, it's okay. Ich bin der Schildkrötenmann. What this is? This is, uh, this is us in 30 years. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's clattered. <laughs> so I thought you were a ninja turtle. Uh, uh, warming up, uh, mobility training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also this is too close for me. I'm, I bend my arms always like this. <laughs> I'm too tall! <laughs> You know, this comp climbing is for like short people like Chris, mm -hmm. and they've always got an advantage, always. Yeah, that's why the Japanese people are so good. They're not good in climbing, they're just no, short. They're just short. Yeah, we hate short people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's hard. That's really hard to hit. Can yeah. we talk about this for a second? Because okay. basically we changed the boulder. First it was easier for Chris. Now it's easier for Alex. Yeah. The boulder is maybe not easier or harder in any version. But now, depending now, now on it's much harder. Depending no, on what size you have. In yes. one round, Chris would have one. In one, Alex would have one. Yes, but Chris is right. Now it's much harder. But I can still do it and he can't. So. I think it's uh, harder in the moment because uh, for me because uh, I have more distance to hit the foothold there. Mm -hmm. The macro. I think I just got lucky right now, to be honest. I also think it's harder. <laughs> Strange. Close. That's right. better. Yeah. Every time now with the yellow foot, your ass is more off the wall yeah. than yeah. before. Yeah. But now your ass was a bit closer than on the tries before. I'm really afraid to slip off here. Yeah, I yeah. know. It's so, because I'm, I'm so afraid to, to, slip, to slip here. Try to hit uh, it, it more upper, in the upper part here, mm -hmm. but it's more subconsciously. Yeah, yeah, because I know, but I do the same with black before I did the same. I'm like so close to the wall because it's scary. Mm -hmm. And this is not scary to you? It's also scary, but <laughs> I got used to it now with black, so. I think it's, it's because, because it's yellow. Um, you like it more. My foot goes like. And you're more motivated now. I, I kind of just try to use this chalk mark and I try to hit the chalk mark with my foot. Ah, I like yellow now. Yellow now. Favorite color. Ah, I hate yellow now. <laughs> Almost scared. <laughs> A lot of swing, then you hit the wall and you stand in the position. I feel sometimes with those swinging boulders, a lot of swing can help you. Maybe at least to get the movement right until you get the right, the right swing. Because if you don't swing enough, you'll definitely fall out. But if you swing too much, like you at least bounce a little bit off the wall and you can still hold it. 
if you swing too much, you have less time, less air time. So because you're fast and it makes makes it harder to hit the foothold also. Yeah. I mean, swinging super crazy fast is not usually the, the best solution. In, in a lot of boulders in comp style boulders now, I have the feeling that you have to jump slow, yeah. you know? I know. Sounds, sounds it sounds stupid, but yeah. you're right. I know. <laughs> Please welcome me. Yes! That's the power <laughs> of might. Do you think you can stand on this? No hands? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Should we try it? No. I think now it's uh, it's super easy. Yeah, but we will take out, we will take off the holes. Ah. <laughs> okay, so uh, not so easy. I have to say, it's not so easy. That's why I asked you if you can stand on this no hands because we'll take off the holes oh, now. Oh damn! Okay. That's a different story. Uh, it's super hard, but I think it, it could work because this is this has a little bit of an ankle here, which helps you. I think so. I hope so. Okay. It's easy. How hard is it to stand on it? Alex? Like three minus. It's uh, important because it's uh, the first. I mean, Chris, you have done root setting before, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think about Alex as a root setter? You can visualize movements, very good. Um, yeah. see all the way but with my right foot like it feels strange how do you work in in a competition round against your your mind because when I slip on I know kind of this moves I'm scared for a moment but you have not that much time you see left, this so. this was one time when I slipped where, where? is there something where is there <laughs> There's what do you show me? I only see a thin line. Do you see more than a thin line? Ah, that's your leg. <laughs> <laughs> this was two weeks ago at Quiff. You slip one time and you're so scared. And now your leg is basically gone. Yes. <laughs> what do you do against? You just tell yourself it's only one more try, just don't slip. But I know it's. I, I mean, have the in same competition problem. You're a super psych, right? But so. yeah, I have the same problem. Even in competition, if you slip one time really bad and it hurts so bad, mm. it's hard to motivate yourself again. I think you really have to like the pain. You have to love it. Okay. Like, oh, please hurt me, volume. Okay. And then you jump. So now out. our training is like we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right foot. Alex, so we got a version that you could cheat. We got a version that you can't cheat and we got what you wanted. Now we have a version that is basically no hands. Which version do you like the most? Sure, probably the no hands because it doesn't really matter your size and your body dimensions with arms and legs. This one really purely is about swinging and trying to stand no hands. But I mean the foothold is quite good. So what we could do now is we could try to do the same thing with a worse foothold to actually challenge ourselves ah. a bit more. What do you think about using the flat gray thing with a tiny screw on that you have to hit precisely? I think we should probably use something that's dual text so you like actually slip onto the foothold. Because I feel like okay. if you just put something here, you're gonna be 
stopping always. And it's yeah. also in the trend now. Uh, it's also in the trend. Very true. True. Yeah. Okay. So do this. Let's do this. Hey guys. <laughs> now we have do texture, and the idea was to land somewhere here, and then to hit the foothold. It's just because of my great mwah, biceps. Show us again. Show us the biceps. Yeah. Alex, how big is your biceps? <laughs> He's, uh, Please decide in the comments <laughs> is Chris's biceps bigger or not. Should try it without the toe. Good. Like this. <laughs> Good. Good volume. Oh, nice. I was cheating. Yeah, that was cheating. Yeah, but yeah, it's I funny because you, land, you really land outside foot, huh? Yeah, I land outside foot. And I always land like this because it feels. More comfortable. But it's okay. just because I got my big toe. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Do you know? <laughs> now, a bit of a harder version, smaller foothold, a bit closer to the wall, and a bit further away from the swinging. That's definitely what I think will come soon in the comps. I'll just take out red so it looks a bit cleaner. And we change now to the blue because it's harder to hit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not super easy. <laughs> and it's scary. Turn the foot all upside down to make it really disgusting. So this is dual texture, this is also dual texture, which makes it so much easier to slip. And also this is much more sloping on the good side with texture. Our last variation for the swing leading, I would say. Show me the joy in your face. I'm like not even standing on it. Wow. Now we come to a point where I have to say no. <laughs> well, um, okay, can you please explain me? Is this climbing? Mm -hmm. um, it's swinging, we call it. It's, uh, no, I mean, well, it's, it's, I mean, it's not fun for the athletes. It's, it's not, not often not fun for that, especially when you slip and you hit your toe and your shin. It's really not fun. I mean, it's the new bouldering style, I feel like. It, it happens. And but I, I have a special feeling about this because all the athletes, like hundreds of athletes, have to, have to deal with it yeah. and have to train for it. Yeah. And just a few setters like the style of... Uh, Bouldering. So it's. Well, I don't let's know. Let's just hope uh, Yannick and uh, Jakob will be set us again soon. I mean, it's an interesting tool, but. I know why they do it because. You have to deal with it. Obviously, uh, with this you can select people, yeah, that's why they do it. That, that but sense. I mean, if, if you set a power problem, you can also select people. Very true. I mean, I mean, bouldering or competition climbing is not just about power. So I, I understand why. Yeah, they, yeah, I understand why they use this. this sure. Yeah, be because this is more low percentage, so when you can select. On the other hand, it's super dangerous. It's super uncomfortable. It's. I, I I'm not sure about this. Mm. I, I mean, you could argue that 
um, fear is also a factor of climbing, always bouldering, no, rope never climbing. afraid, never afraid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ever. Awesome. never be afraid. I jumped off I, I just, I I just stopped because, um, yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think a good mixture would be good, you know? I feel yeah. like uh, this kind of takes over a little bit and there's too many boulders like this. Maybe a bit of a mixture between uh, proper compass boulders and proper power boulders. Mm. but also stuff like this. So Alex, what's your point on this? Because I, when I started climbing, I was told competition climbing is to see who's the best climber and the best climber should be the one that can climb every style really well. So it's like an overall good climber. Do you think competition tests that right now? No, at the moment I think competition tests a very particular style, but not necessarily who is the best or the strongest climber overall. I mean, of course, if you are as strong and better as a climber, you will have more chances, but it still comes down so much to luck and it's so low percentage that even somebody who might not be super strong can end up quite, you know, quite good in a competition. Which I think is also nice, but it shouldn't be the only side, yeah. maybe. I think a good mixture would be good. I'm not saying they shouldn't set like this, but they have to be careful yeah. with the style of setting. And yeah, maybe they overdo it a little bit yeah. in the moment. But anyway. We we'll practice now, so we will be good at it, no matter what comes. Why? Write in the comments, what's your opinion? <laughs> oh, yeah, true. If you have any negative comments, don't write it, we don't want to read yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. True. But just constructive criticism is appreciated. Or just telling us that we are half gods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Stay tuned for the next episode. ka -ding. Yeah. 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 Yeah.